Hey guys, welcome to another video on the SVM hyperparameter optimization. In this video, as the name says it, we are going to do hyperparameter optimization for SVM and we're going to do the classification example. So let's get started. Now we'll begin by loading the libraries pandas and sklearn SVM. We're going to take the SVC part of it. Now, once we import the libraries, we're going to import the data and we're going to use the UCI credit card data. Now, the data looks something like this. You have ID, the variables, and the Y variable for us is going to be default payment next month. That means which customer is going to default payment in the next month, right? So that's the Y variable that we're going to be modeling for. Now, moving on, what we'll do is we'll set, we'll get the target data Y, that is this particular variable, and then the X variables will be all the variables except for ID and the default payment next month. So we have all the rest of the variables between these two variables that will be used for our modeling process. Now let's look at the best part of it. That is the hyperparameter optimization. So we are going to begin by first defining a parameter grid that is going to be looking like this. You'll have C and then you'll have values that are available i have just put short number of values there for this example but typically you can use a generator to generate these numbers similarly we'll have gamma and we will begin by one and then keep reducing the values and then kernel either rbf or not now we're going to put all of this into this dictionary and then we're going to instantiate a version of svc with auto there and this is going to be overwritten by whatever parameter grid that we are providing. So this is again just for instantiating. Then the next part is obviously setting up the random grid search. And we're going to be using you know the random grid search rather than the grid search CV. Random grid search will be a lot faster compared to the grid search CV. So once you've done that, we will get the randomized search CV imported and then instantiate it along with the parameters that we just created above, right? So it's going to be looking something like this. You're going to take the first argument as SVM model, then parameter distributions is going to be the parameter grid that we have here. And then the rest of them is going to be cross validation three times. This is going to keep it at minimum now. And then verbose is going to be two and jobs is going to be four. So this is how we set up the randomized search CV. And then obviously next step is fitting it. It takes some time to run it. So I've rerun it so that we can see the results and focus on the concept. So I'm just going to take whatever great search we did and then fit it with the X and Y variables that we have mentioned earlier here. Okay. And then once that is done, you'll see that it will run it and it will give you the best version or the best parameters are estimated for this particular field. And it's going to be looking something like this. RF underscore grid dot best parameters. And these are the ones that are best parameters. That is gamma of 0 0.001 and C of 10, which will give the best accuracy when fitted. And obviously, if you want the best estimate, this is how it's going to be looking like. Kernel RBF is going to be default there. So that's why it's not mentioned here. Anyway, so that's how we get the best parameters and best estimator. The next step is obviously to check the accuracy. And if we check the score of this, you'll see we have a 0.991, which is at first looking overfitted, but only when we do the test and train accuracies uh, will we be able to compare and say whether this is a good fit or not. But this is how you do SVM or SVC hyperparameter optimization. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.